Toxic Crusaders Super 7 Deluxe Toxie. Now, this may be the only time you may hear some comparisons to a hot toy, a uh, Super 7 product to a hot toy, but when it comes to presentation and, and box, they, they're up there, man. We get a brown shipper with a beautiful logo on there. Uh, hot toys, not so much. You just get some numbers. Oops, excuse me for knocking the camera there. You get some numbers, you get some code words and some other stuff. Here we got a beautiful Toxic Crusader logo. Legal Ease, Troma, Lloyd Kaufman, Michael Hurst. Aside from that, you get this beautiful, I don't know where to put this box now. Uh, beautiful off-center Toxic Crusaders box. Now, so the presentation is fantastic in this. Uh, so this is just the slip cover, mind you. So you could see it's grouping over a hazard, a warning painted type box. Oh, spoiler there. Toxie was there. Super 7 logo contents, one figure with accessory. That guy. Beautiful green slip cover. It's probably, you know, the dramatic effect would have been better with the figure in the box. But hey, we get his head and a couple grenade accessories. Toxie. Again, hazard warning pain. Toxic Crusaders warning. This package contains Toxie, the likable, lumpy-headed hero. Super 7. So, one more Toxic Crusader. Here we go. And getting his mugshot taken right now. Toxie himself. Which, you know, when it comes to Super 7, they, they nail these cartoony looks. Uh, we've seen it in their Masters line. We've seen it with the with the Turtle line, although that's based off of the old toy line. Their Voltron, great, great shit, man. So let's take a closer look at this guy. All right, lights are on, and Toxie's here right in front of us. Look at this detail. Now, again, that cartoony aesthetic, they just get it. They nail it. They're, they aren't necessarily known for their articulation. And uh, as you can see here, it's it's a basic presentation so we'll take all this stuff let's just do it now lobby shield mop and we got our toxie here so this is one of two heads and i'll bring the other out in just a second but let's just admire what's here look at that bandana great cartoony sculpt droopy eye teeth painted better than most mezco figures Nice bandolier, can hold his mop. Nice little peg stand for Blobby there. Beautiful bright orange. Tank top, bandana, uh, wrist strap, uh, wristband, sweatband. This would be a wristband then. Uh, no alternative hands. Some minor, minor shading there from, uh, you know, right at the bicep joint. So this tutu is all black. And I don't think the original figure came with a tutu. I could be wrong. Um, let's see. I think the tutu is from the movie. So these pants, torn pants, looking great with more of his gross warts and goiters on his thigh. Torn pants. Boots that he is dr literally dripping and oozing out of. Exposed toxy toes there. Lost my uh, focus. There we go. Nice painted wraps around the ankles there of his high top boots. And uh, so if you're a child of the 80s, 90s, you know a lot of Ninja Turtles, a lot of stuff from Playmates actually wasn't really detailed. Uh, so, you know, we got solid weapons. If you had like Wingnut, your screwless sidekick character or uh, Joe Eyeball with Muckman, we're just a solid color. Even their Earthworm Jim line later on, uh, Snot, just a solid green or just a solid red, depending on what version you got. Uh, you know, nowadays, there's plenty of talented people out there to detail and, and paint things. So we'll quickly, talking about accessories, here's Blobby. Can we get a focus on Blobby? There we go. At least we got his eyes and teeth painted. Again, you know, teeth look a lot better than what Mezco's pumping out. So the character himself, was a, like a pinkish type color. 
Uh, they could have went the extra mile, but, you know. And like the upcoming TMNT line, these are more based off of the original Playmates action figures more than anything else. Still great, though. Uh, other accessories. Toxic Crusader logo right on the shield. Looks like it's melting and oozing. You know, uh, I don't know what it was supposed to be, a sewer top. I don't know, but it is a makeshift shield, as you can see. This was a pipe of some sort. Great clean logo. Followed up by the mop with the United States flag accessory, which clips on and off. And it's kind of a pain, honestly. A mop, a solid orange, nice orange, matches his uh, tank top and his bandana. Got some red there holding the mop together. Looks decent enough. You know, you customize, you could paint this, use this as a prop. In one of your backgrounds, but looking good. So let me get that extra head for you. So here's Toxie with his alternate head, which is closer in looks to his movie likeness. Granted, not as hideous, but a great and welcome option nonetheless. So we can get our comparison on there. It's pretty much the same sculpt minus bandana. And it looks great. It's nice to have options. And finally, his other accessories are three. There's little toxic bombs, which look like tiny little barrels. You could probably, and the, the original figure probably had it like this. So, you know, I keep referencing my memory. So I didn't, believe it or not, I didn't have Toxie. I had like Junkyard, I had No Zone, um, Major Disaster. For And it was probably because growing up, I had a neighbor friend and he had Toxie, he had. So we would try to get the figures the other person didn't have. In the end, I sold him my collection since I was forever a diehard TMNT fan and wanted more money for whatever TMNT figures were out at the time. Um, so Mike, I hope you still have that collection. Pass those on to your kids. They're great, and all I could say is I hope Super 7 doesn't stop here. So head comes on and off easy. You can see it's on a dumbbell. Why are you not focused? It's on a dumbbell. My camera being a dumbbell. There we go. Easy, smooth. I mean, hardly any resistance. A strong fit nonetheless so toxi with articulation as you saw there's no hinge there we just get the dumbbell we get a nice full rotation you if you lift it up you can get some tiltage out of it but really it should be resting on the neck there like that so there's no lollipop ish ness going on so this is a nice tight fit it's not all over the place like some of the gi joe stuff is from hasbro uh, you know, recently. Nice ball shoulders. I can't go up too high on both sides. But you do get a full rotation, of course. Biceps are loose as heck, man. So, look at that. That is a bummer. Uh, I don't know if it's just mine. This might be everyone's. Ah, uh, hate it. Hate it. But you know, uh, you can get them in some cool poses still with some fudging. Single jointed elbow, hinge and swivel, wrist, and that goes for both hands. Uh, and that also, that looseness is absolutely in both arms. It's a bummer, but I mean, when a figure looks this good, I can let some shit slide. Um, that I'm gonna let slide because I'm gonna have them hold the mop two hands if and when I put them on display like that. So, back to articulation. He's got a pretty decent ab crunch. No waist. This also is a separate piece and can go up and down depending on where you want to place it. So if you want to see both belts, you want to bring it down and cover a belt. Legs, pretty decent. No thigh cut though, but you do get a nice you know, up here, you can see the joint there. Single jointed knee, again, I mean, look at that. Super 7, again, not exactly known for their articulation. We do get a boot cut, though, which is nice. We do get a hinge, and we do get a pivot. 
Fantastic, fantastic figure, man. Uh, I myself don't own a lot of Super 7 products, so comparison's going to be quick, but just get them here in hand. Probably want it like that. So there is a cool feature that I want to show you, but I don't think I can because I'm recording this in the daytime. So his eye does glow though. So maybe I'll get a picture of that. This eye, this eye, both big droopy eyes are glow in the dark. It's quick and dirty, not so painless look at Toxie. Really quick though, as mentioned, I don't have a lot of Super 7 figures, but those that I do are also cartoony and look like they jumped out of the television screen. So I have most of the filmation line and uh, again, like Toxie, Super 7 just nails that cartoon aesthetic. I mean, look at that Skeletor head. How could you not? Uh, I really hope Super 7 continues with this line. Uh, hopefully Toxie was just to test the waters. But as far as it, as I'm concerned, in my toy circle and shops around here, Toxie's been sold out. I'm shocked that I even found this. And for a great price, a retail price at that, from my D pins in Anaheim. Uh, that's not a plug. I'm just letting you know where I got it. Uh, and, and so happy with my purchase, uh, so happy that, you know, they gave a great price, uh, to, to us people who missed out on that Super 7 pre-order. Um, so for those of you who don't know real quick, Super 7 usually is like a make to order. You go on their site, they give you a window, uh, and, and, and within, if you pre-order within that window, you're guaranteed your figure and you'll get it whenever you get it. Uh, and then there's sh shops like Big Bad Toy Store, which will also pick these up, but they'll add, you know, uh, an extra amount of dollars to it. Uh, and, and, you know, you can't blame them. They're, they're selling you basically a sold out product. Uh, so again, buy, as far as I know, people have been buying this figure and it's doing great. You know, I don't, I don't have data to back that up, but look at them. How could you not? So if you see them, you see them for a great price, pick him up. I mean, I was already willing to drop 60 70 80 bucks on this guy uh i mean he's going for even more than that depending on where you look but i'm very very happy with this purchase this was one of the surprise purchases of the year and another example of you just get more blown away than you expected when you take a figure out, figure out of the package so thank you for looking thank you for watching not everything revolves around marvel legends there are great action figures out there and i'm going to try to cover more of those um because i don't just collect Marvel Legends and Hasbro stuff, but please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what lines you like to collect outside of Marvel Legends or Star Wars or Power Rangers. Um, let me know if you guys picked any of these up when you were a kid, for those of you old enough, or those of you who are old enough now to just reminisce and, and wish you were alive during our time and, and pick up the retro figures. Because I think the retro figures from Playmates, like a lot of most uh, early Playmates TMNT stuff, are still aesthetically pleasing pleasing, and look great in your action figure collection. So again, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back with more videos and I thank you.